So pretty much almost any of these batteries on Amazon are a better choice than buying from like Ham Radio Outlet or DX Engineering or any of those companies selling these overpriced bio-NO batteries. Um, it's interesting how I see so many hams that are just like uh, sold on that, like drinking the Kool-Aid, just like, wow, gobble it up, let's pay hundreds of dollars for a $50 battery. You know, um, you don't even need a 20 amp hour battery these hams they don't understand this they don't test this real world you could do all the research that you want in the world but like actually getting out there putting it to the test like that's the real deal and we can sit here and talk about it all day long but I've been out there I've used these batteries I've seen how many amp hours it takes to run certain different radios I've seen what it does when it starts to have problems and how long they last Okay, an HF radio does not pull 20 amps on single sideband. Only on voice peaks, some do. The average draw that you're going to see on most radios that you would take out to do portable work is going to be about 12 amps. Most of the latest radios are, like, what I would say, they're kind of anemic. They're not going to be like this ICOM here that's going to put out like 125 watts on sideband peaks. It's a 100 watt radio, but it gets after it. If you use something like a 7300 or a 710, well, most of those radios are not putting out a full 100 watts. I don't care what kind of meter you're using. They're not putting out the same amount of power as something like this. It's just not happening. They weren't designed the same way. Having said that, I have still run this radio off of small batteries, just for the hell of it. A 20 amp hour battery, in most cases, they won't tell you usually in the um, specs, but it's going to be capable of probably three times its rated amp hour rating for a spike. Um, it might say, but it's very unlikely, but we'll just take a look and see if it says. Um, so this little battery is 5.7 pounds, it's 20 amp hours, you can run uh, you can run this thing quite a bit. You're not going to be transmitting <coughs> that much if you're portable. I was hoping maybe they would give us more information so a couple batteries I've ordered came with a little piece of paper that said this battery is rated this much and can provide uh, a surge capacity of this much um, so one of my six amp hour batteries that I bought claimed that it could support somewhere around 18 amp hours. Here's a ham radio guy here. Let's pull up his picture. Let's take a look. Looks like he's using a... I don't know. What the hell is that radio? Oh, it's a mirror image. So it's a backwards image of an FTDX10 because he is the front camera. Okay. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. It will run for two and a half hours, making around 200 contacts. Uh, I can pull about 17.5 amps out of the battery before it cuts off. Blah, 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 blah. Anyway, so basically, what I just told you. Um, here's a guy that analyzed it. One of these fancy analyzers. Uh, capacity was uh, 1,000 or 19,742 milliamp hours advertised is 20.
Yeah, so, um, very, very good. Uh, the battery is so light, it's a great choice for a small solar setup, or what I'm using it for is outdoor shower pump with a single small solar panel. Pretty cool. But basically, with the batteries, um, what you want to do is you want a battery, wow, this is overkill, um, that has terminals on it that aren't spades. You know, you know I don't want that, you know. Um, but anyway, these batteries are an excellent value compared to what you would spend if you bought a BioNO battery. So basically, if you want a good battery, it doesn't cost a lot of money, you can operate for a couple of hours and run full 100 watts. One of these 20 amp hour batteries, almost any of them, will work perfectly fine. This is probably about the uh, weirdest thing I've seen. Lead modified lithium battery. I would definitely be curious about this. This sounds sketchy, but it might just be a badly labeled Chinese battery. There's no such thing as a lead modified lithium battery, as far as I understand. Um, if you know, let me know. Here's a 7 amp hour. I wonder if it says the same stupid thing on it. It does. Let's just forget about whatever the hell that is. There's too much other stuff out here to be worried about that. Same one, $46. You know, I have seen this scheme continually happen all the time on Amazon. You go up here and you see this other one for 36. You see the other one for 46 with 20% coupon. Just strange. Um, Doctor prepare. Because <laughs> you're going to go to the hospital as soon as you use this battery. I think this would be a good deal on the Chins battery. Just because I like their batteries. Um, so 56 bucks on a Chins 20 amp hour battery. I think that'd be great. Here's a Live Plus. They look like they're copying Lifetime. Um, it's the Touch Dong. I mean, Touch Tu, tu Chong. Very funny name. This one. Now, I bought one that was more this form factor right here. And I got it for really cheap. But they don't have them on here anymore. And that's the form factor that... Mine says 15 amp hour. It's got long cylindrical cells in it. I forget what they call them. But... It's definitely been good to me. And because of the way it went down, I ended up with another battery for free from Amazon. That is a lot of money for this battery. Wow. Something's wrong there. So... It's just something to explore if you're going to operate portable. There's lots of other ones out here of different sizes, but basically anything under 20 is probably not going to have regular terminals. Um, 
You have the uh, F U K U A I. Uh, yes, that's how I feel about AI also. Um, I have a uh, six amp hour battery. How about the no joke battery? This battery is no joke. Or is it the no joke KE battery? Like professional battery quality. Just, I don't know what kind of crack these Chinese people are smoking when they come up with these battery names that they're marketing obviously to European and Americans. So these type of batteries here with the tabs, you're gonna run into problems on most of them, especially if you move them around and fiddle with them a lot. Here's a bioeno battery right here. Look at this, $239. And the only thing they've done for you is put another charge cord on it for their specific adapter. That's very slow. And also uh, Anderson power pole. Trust me for $59. You're going to not miss this $239 overpriced pile of crap. There's just no reason to do it. Let's see. You could run one of these too. But like I said, terminals are going to be an issue. Anyway, guys, that's it for me on that. If you don't believe me about the prices, go look on Ham Radio Outlet. We'll look up uh, the batteries. I'll do it really quick for you. Let me go in here and jump into the batteries. Um, their website needs work badly. They really do. As much money as this company is making, could they at least please make their website a little more friendly? I feel like it's as stupid as trying to look up uh, stuff to download on some websites. There should be uh, battery. So what's wrong with their website is I have to scroll through here. I cannot see what these items are that they're selling. And I have to be in this form of a menu to see what the price is. Okay. Here is a uh, BioNeo 24 volt 10 amp hour battery. I don't know why they're selling those on here. Two amp chargers, 21 bucks. Let me see here. So for a six amp hour tiny little battery, they want $79, which might be reasonable. But as you get up in the prices, here's a 20 amp hour. 189. There's no reason to spend $189 on a battery. Here's a 15 amp hour. 149. Here's a 12 amp hour. 124. <coughs> it's kind of like a UPS size battery. It looks like it doesn't even come with anything special on it, so that one's worthless. A 9 amp hour. It's going to look like a UPS battery. Man. Total ripoff. How about a three amp hour battery for fifty dollars? Anyway, that's it, guys. You see, the, the prices aren't great on any of that crap. 